Hey, today we're going to talk about solubility, which ties into words like molarity, solute, and solvent. And you're used to solubility. If you dissolve something in something else, you've worked with the word solubility. So when you make hot chocolate, you put hot chocolate into water or into milk. The hot chocolate is called the solute. The milk or the water that you use is called the solvent. And how well it dissolves is called solubility. Now there's some fancy words that go along with this. Of course there is, right? So you have molarity, and molarity means the number of moles you have per liter. Moles of stuff per liter of water, or whatever solution you're using. For the most part, we use water, the universal solvent. So, oh, well, that didn't work really well, did it? So you can kind of see that says molarity or fissity. So fissity, let me write that over here, is a nonsense word. As far as you're concerned right now, molarity is a nonsense word. So let's go with them. Fishity. I'm going to tell you the definition for fishity is the amount of fish, come on, fish per liter of water. So, kind of a big fish to put into a bottle. But you can picture that. You can picture putting a fish into a bottle. So let's do that. So here's a bottle, a liter bottle, and I'm going to go ahead and fill it with water up to there. I guess I should make my water blue. So I fill it with water, and that's about one liter. So if you take a two liter soda bottle and cut it in half, you've got a liter. So what happened if I put one fish into that bottle, into that one liter? Okay, let me erase this out here. Let me put a fish in there. What do you have when you put one fish into one liter? Ah. So I put my one fish in that one liter. I have a one fishity solution. Well, that's not many fish. I've got a lot of space. What if I put another fish in there? Now I have a two fishity solution. So what happened if I put lots of fish in there? Like 50 fish. Well, if I put 50 fish into one liter, I'm starting to run out of water, aren't I? And the whole idea is I'm starting to be more concentrated. So if I have less fish and more water, I have a dilute solution. If I have lots of fish, that's way more fish than one fish, okay? Lots of fish and less water. I haven't really changed the water, I've just got more fish in there in one liter. That's true. That's more concentrated. So this nonsense word, fishity, tells me how concentrated my solution is. How much fish there are in a liter. And the fancy word for fish, of course fish don't dissolve, was called a solute. And the fancy word for water is called a solvent. Remember this, the loot goes in the vent, right? You're from New Jersey and you got a bag of loot and you run away from the coppers, they put it in a laundry vent, you make a solution. And again, you have way more loot and vent, it's very concentrated. So this would be the 50 fishity, right? And what would this be? This would be one fishity, okay? So solute and solvent, loot goes in the vent to make a solution. So loot in the vent or per vent. Now, of course, we don't have a word called fishity in chemistry, a word called molarity. But if fishity means fish per liter, then what's molarity mean? If you said moles per liter, then you are correct. So the number of moles per liter of water. So now you can picture some little moles swimming around here. I can't draw a mole little blind mole swimming around in water. If I have one mole, one mole per liter, one liter of water, I have a one molarity or one molar solution. Okay, so it has a molarity of one or a one molar solution. Don't ask me why they have to say it so differently, but now, you got to think about this. I'm not always going to have one liter of water. What if I had half a mole? 
oh, poor mole, one half a mole in one liter of water, I have a 0.5 molar solution, right? Would also give me a one molar solution. Well, wouldn't two moles in two liters, right? That gives me a one molar solution. So again, it's a ratio of solute to solvent moles per liter. And unlike fishity or moles, we're talking about stuff that dissolves. Okay, so you should know molarity is moles per liter concentration. If I have a one molar solution, a 0.5 molar solution, a 25 molar solution, this is more concentrated and this is more dilute. Here I have more vent and here I have more lute, right? More stuff. So let's do some problems. Now, you have to remember there, molarity equals moles per liter. You have to write the equation down. So let's look and see what we're doing. So what are you doing in this problem? Problem number one. We need to find the molarity. So I'm going to circle that, right? Remember, we always circle what we don't know. I don't know that. I do know I have a solution of sodium chloride. And what do I know? I know I have two moles of solid sodium chloride and dissolving it in three liters of water. Now, the nice thing about molarity is they always give you two variables. You know them, and you're finding a third. So in this problem, I write my equation, and I just simply look and say, what do I have? Oh, look, I have moles two moles and three liters. Those simply plug in, don't they? And so if I do my math and divide two moles by three liters, I'm going to get 0 0.67 molarity, a molarity of 0 0.67. That's what happens when I divide these two numbers. That's my answer. And I found the molarity. Let's do another problem, problem two. What's your equation again? Always write your equation down. Molarity equals moles per liter. And what do you know? Oh look, here we go. Find the molarity. So I don't know this, that's my x. So they have to give me information about the other two. What do they give me? Here I have two grams of sodium chloride. It's dissolved in five liters of water. So what do you know? You do not know molarity. You do know liters. Five liters of water. Wow, okay, looks like I don't know something else, but I do. Remember, this is my x. This is what I'm trying to find. So that means they have to give me information to find moles. Can you find moles from two grams of sodium chloride? Sure you can. Two grams of sodium chloride, right, NaCl put grams down here and moles up here. Use your mole map. One mole, grams of sodium chloride. Where do you look? Periodic table. Sodium is 22.99 grams off the periodic table and chlorine is 35.45. You add them up, you get 58.44. That goes right here. Right, I'm changing grams to moles. Why? Because I want to put it right here. And if you do your math, you get 0 0.3422 moles. So when I do my math right here, 2 divided by 58.44, I'm going to get 0.3422 moles. 0.3422. Now what happens when I divide those numbers, right? I'm going to take 0.3422 and divide it by 5. I get 0 0.068, 0 0.068 what? Excuse me, I need to erase this. 0 0.068 molarity, that's what I was trying to find, remember? I could also write that 6.8 times 10 to the minus two molarity. Okay, let's try another one. Problem number three is what this is. Yep. All right, now what do we know? Remember, molarity equals moles per liter. Always write your equation. 
Now what are you trying to find? Here you're trying to find how many moles. They give you 2.3 liters and 3.0 molar. So I don't know moles. So I'm going to plug my numbers in. I have 3 molar. I don't know my moles. That's my x. You write the words you can. And look at this. They do give me liters. So 2.3 liters. Now what do you do? When you're finding this x, you take 3 times 2.3, don't you? Okay? And if you do that, you get 6.9 moles. So to solve for x in this case, you got to multiply both sides. Let me do this with a black. Multiply both sides by 2.3, right? That cancels here. And you're going to get 6.9 moles of nacho, nacho average chemistry class, sodium acetate. Number four. How many grams of sodium hydroxide? So we're going to circle what we don't know, right? And molarity equals moles per liter. What do you know? 4.3 liters and 2.0 molar. So I'm going to write 2.0 molarity, molar right here. That's where molarity is, right? I'm going to put 4.3 liters on the bottom. Oops. 4.3 liters. I don't know moles. Now I'm confused. Wait a minute. They're asking me for grams. Oh, you got to find moles first. Then you find grams. Okay. So to do this, when I solve for x, don't you multiply both sides by 4.3? Right? 4.3 cancels. So 4.3 times 2 is 8.6. 8.6 what? 8.6 moles. Now that's not what I want. I want how many grams, correct? Moles of what? NaOH. And so simply now what do you do? If you said change moles to grams, you're correct. I put moles down here to cancel of NaOH. Grams of NaOH up top. And in one mole, don't use a periodic table, right? So sodium is 22.999. Oops, excuse me. 22.99. One too many nines. Oxygen 16. And hydrogen's 1.01 .01 grams for all of them. So if I add that up, I'm going to get 40. So 40 grams is the gram formula mass of sodium hydroxide. So 40 goes right here. Right? Okay. And I actually need to use my calculator here. 8.6 times 40 is 344 grams. So the grams are, sorry, 340, 344 grams. That's the answer to this right here. Give you math. Okay, let's try another one. What's your equation? Molarity equals moles per liter. Okay, now, this is how many liters are required. So I'm going to circle my liters. And I know I have a 3 molar solution and 4.8 grams of lithium chloride. Remember, they give you information to find two. So what are you finding? You don't know this. This is your x. That means they give you information to find moles and information to find molarity, or else they just give it to you. Do they give you molarity? Yes, they do. Do they give you moles? No, they don't. But you can find moles, can't you? All right. So let's do that. 4.8 grams, oopsie daisy, sorry, of lithium chloride. I'm going to change it to moles. I'm going to go grams and one mole up top. Let me get rid of this so you can co concentrate here. Okay, so I'm going to put lithium is 6.9, something like that, grams, and chlorine is 35.45 grams. If I add those up, 
I'm going to end up with 42.35 grams. Now, I put that down here, right? And when I do my math, 4.8 divided by 42.35, what do you got in your calculator? 0 0.1133 something something so don't worry about it and that's moles so why was I doing this again oh they gave me molarity I shouldn't circle that sorry I didn't confuse you they gave me molarity right they gave me the molarity right here and they gave me grams which means I can find moles so I'm gonna put that right here so 0 0.1133 moles because I'm trying to find how many liters. I don't know how many liters. So now I'm ready to solve, okay? And you can do crazy algebra, or you can simply say to yourself, when x is in the bottom, you do the Faley flip, right? Look back here. In this one, x was in the top, right? If you look at this problem, erase this, erase this, and I'll put this 4.3 back because some of you are confused with that algebra, 4.3. Is x in the bottom here? No, it's not. x is in the top. So what do you do in this case? You multiply both sides by 4.3, right? Now, where is x in this case? x is in the bottom. So when x is in the bottom, you do the Faley flip, which means this comes here and that goes down. So I'm going to take 0 0.1133 divided by 3. Okay, and if you're interested, I'll show you on the next slide. And you can label these if you want to. I'm not really worried because the way you have it set up, it will work. So when you divide those two, you end up with 0 0.0377, and we're solving for liters. And we do significant figures, it's 0 0.038 liters. That's your answer. Okay, so I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to show you just so you can see how that works. If you have 3.0 here, if you need to, if not, you can turn this off. And I have 0.1133 here and x down the bottom. How do you get x out of there? You need to multiply both sides by x. So what happens to x on this side? It cancels, right? Okay, so I'm going to erase that. What are you left with? You're left with x on this side over here. So what do you need to do? You need to both divide both sides by 3, don't you? What happens to 3 over here? It cancels, which means it goes away, right? It's 1. And look what you're left with. And what do you start out with? You started out with, this is moles per liter. You started out with 3 equals 3.0, right, if it makes a difference. 3 equals 0 0.1133 over x. And what's my little ditty? When x is in the bottom, you do the Faley flip. Why? What do they do? They change places when you do the algebra. So if you want to do the algebra, just flip them, and you can understand why. Okay? So those are the kind of problems that you can expect to see on a quiz. See ya.